Hello girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich with your Tarot Talk Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I just realized I am not even close to prepared yet. Hold on, we're getting there. Calm down, it's okay. Um, so there's our image for today. Um, just to give you a little insight into what's happening with me today is... Hurricane, what was it? Um, oh, geez. Henri, that's what it was. I couldn't remember the name for a second here. Um, and yeah, Hurricane Henri came by, bringing with it a lot of rains. I'm in the uh, New Jersey area, you know, far from the coast and whatnot. So it's not a huge deal for me, like where I'm at. Um, uh, but yeah, it is, hold on here. Let me try to pull up this. Okay. Now I'll try to pull it up. Okay. Is that going to let me? No, that's not going to let me. What the heck? What is going on here? Hold please. Cause something's not. Hmm. My, my window capture isn't happening for the the what you call it the pictorial key of the tarot hold on so we're, we're just gonna create that and there we go okay so we're gonna play around with that just for a second here okay so anyway <clears throat> uh hurricane Henri came by uh bringing with it a lot of the winds and everything and uh what is it? 350 left, 350 right. Uh, hold on. 750 top. And 250? Nope. 150. Nope. Just do 100. There we go. Okay. So, anyway, uh, whenever it's raining out and whatnot, I just feel. Like, it is time to just nap and just kind of relax and take it all in and everything. So, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just doing, just doing. Uh, it's been a good couple days. I mean, I, I, I just, like, took a nap this, like, earlier today, just a couple hours ago. And I'm like, I wake up, I'm like, oh, crap, I gotta do a video for tomorrow. And I also want to do the Witchy Wednesday video. And I'm looking for a specific book. And I cannot find it for our Witchy Wednesday uh, uh, lesson. The, the, as we're going through the uh, circle and whatnot, the ritual circle uh we are doing the invocation of the elements uh so yeah or calling quarters uh yeah we're we're doing that and i think i'm gonna probably do evocation as well where we're you know calling on spirit so i think i'm gonna combine those because i don't want this to take too long going through the ritual circle and whatnot and there's only so much you can say on quarter calls. But anyway, yeah, I want to do both those videos. And if I can, doing our Table Talk Thursday video as well. So it's all done and um, together. And I don't have to rush to make a video until Friday, whenever I'm actually off on Fridays. So that makes it kind of nice. So anyway. As per usual, let's go ahead and look at the pictorial T, the pictorial T of the car the caro, the pictorial key of the tarot by A. E. Wait. Uh, we are on the Ten of Wands today. Uh, getting right into this, a man opposed by the weight of the ten staves which he is carrying. Okay, uh, very short. And to the point, um, uh, you know, description of the card. Usually he goes into a little bit more. Divinatory meanings. A card of many significances. And some of the readings cannot be harmonized. 
I set aside that which connects it. I set aside that which connects it with honor and good faith. The chief meaning is oppression simply, but it is also fortune, gain, any kind of success, and then it is the oppression of these things. Hmm. It is also a card of false seeming disguise. Uh, perfidy? Perfidy? Uh, I've not heard this word before. Uh, the place which the figure is approaching may suffer from the rods that he carries. Success is is uh, stultified? Again, these are 19... 12 words or 19 10 words um i have two kitties that are you know kind of meow growling at each other and not a good thing uh success is stullified in the nine of swords uh follow what if the nine of swords follows okay and if it is a question of a lawsuit there will be certain loss wow um I don't agree with any of this. Reversed. Uh, contrarities, difficulties, uh, intrigues, and their analogies. Wow, was he trying to rhyme there? Whoops, wrong one. Uh, because, like, yeah, hey, wait, poet, you are not. Um, I disagree. Uh, I don't have everything circled on this one, just like last week. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have to circle as much on this one, um, because this one is pretty, uh, self-explanatory, at, at least for me. So, with this one, it is the carrying of burdens. Th these, again, are your passions. You are going, this person is, um, uh, going, it appears to be to this house down in the lower right-hand corner of it. But we don't know exactly where his final destination is. And I say he because appears to be male. Um, you know, also, again, quite an androgynous human being. We don't know, male or female. That's one of the beauties of tarot. Um, but anyway, this individual is going towards what appears to be this house or this fortress, castle, whatever it is. I wouldn't say castle because it doesn't look like it the castles that we've seen in the tarot um he's carrying these these wands in a very weird way who in their right mind would carry them in front of you uh, in front of themselves carrying them on your back or on your shoulder would be a much more uh comfortable and much more logical way of carrying uh these these wands um now let, let, let me just try to figure out how, how I want to word all this. So, he's going to this place. He's um, approaching the end. He's uh, nearing his target. Again, these are your passions. The, the wands are passions. He, he's about to get the payoff for his passions. Okay. Carrying these in a weird way. We're not going to discuss that right this minute. Um... But he's getting close. He's putting in this extra time. He's putting in this extra energy, this extra effort to get there. And that's one thing. Like, he could set one down, go and get it, and come back and set it. You know, you know he, could, he could basically relay race those back and forth. It doesn't look like it's an incredibly long distance. However, trying to take them all at once, he's, uh, you know, clearly just taking all the matters into his own hands he's not leaving them sitting around he's not um asking for help from anybody i would imagine that there's other people around because you know you have at least one house there you probably have several other houses there as well so he's not asking for help he's not asking anybody to assist him in any way um and that is one of the things of this card Okay, so let, let's talk about how he's carrying these wands, because it is incredibly problematic for me. Uh, who in the right mind would carry a 
bundle of sticks that way. Well, I think this kind of gives a little bit more insight into this card meaning itself. Um, he is l quite literally blocking his eyes from his destination. He's being so wrapped up, literally, in all of the stuff that it's hard to see the finish line. You can see it in a little crack here and there, but you don't have a clear vision of the finish line. And I think that is something that I, I never really thought of until really going and looking at uh, these cards individually as a course of study here. But yeah, I, I think this is uh, speaking to the nature of this card because in its upright version, as it is here, <clears throat> uh, this card represents people who are shouldering all the, the burdens. These are the ones that are putting in all of the time at work, um, pursuing their passions to the very end. Um, they can see the, uh, the finish line in, in the road ahead or on the road ahead. They can see that. However, getting there, they just, they, they have, they have this thing and th they have this and, and this. And that's all I need. Just these. And this pen. And that's it. <laughs> if you get that reference, extra points to you. But anyway, back <laughs> to the actual... Uh, to quote the movie, I was once a poor black child. Now, I'm a jerk. I love that one. Thank you, Steve Martin. Uh, keep on going here. Anyway, uh, yeah, I love Steve Martin. I, th I think, uh, he has contributed a lot to the arts and whatnot, so, yeah. Anyway, um, so th this is the person that will gather everything in their hands. They're like, I need to do this. The finish line is right there. I need to go, go just do this little bit, and then I'm done. However, uh... This is a card that tells you that you probably should be delegating. Um, me, as somebody who runs my own business and um, and runs my own, does my own editing and and uploading and recording and all that stuff, you know, could I delegate to somebody? And say, hey, I need an editor. Uh, yes, absolutely, I could definitely do that. Uh, should I do that? Probably, because my editing skills are quite lacking. Um, <laughs> but whenever it comes to business, you know, could I hire somebody to take pictures of eBay items and, um, you know, I can list them or vice versa? Absolutely. Um, should I? Probably, eventually, will be a thing that happens. But right now, I'm one of those people that are like, I, I need this, and I need this, and, and no, you can't help, because this is something I have to do. I am totally one of those people. So, this is a card that would come up for me in that situation. You know, set something down, it's okay. It's not going anywhere. Uh, take a little bit less of a break. <clears throat> or take a little bit more of a break by caring a little bit less. Uh, you can come back for it later. You can do it, uh, you know, later. And one thing that has always, or that has rung true in my ear over the last couple years um, is it's better to be done than to be perfect. Uh, it's better for something to be completed but not perfect, and perfect, but never getting completed. Uh, and I think there is a lot of truth to that, and it's something I'm trying to take to heart. But that would be the situation of this, of this card, is that you are going towards the finish line, but you're trying to do it perfectly. If you, uh, if you get there and it's not quite perfect, that's okay. 
it's fine. I, I have a little acid reflux today, so if you see me going like that, that's why. Um, so, yeah, that that's pretty much what this card means in the upright. You know, try delegating a few things. One thing here, one thing there, no big deal, it's all good. Um, you know, just try to do that. And, you know, see how that works out for you. I'm trying to do... I want to... How did I do it before? I cannot remember. Hmm. Yeah, I, I should really take out all of this stuff. Let me just... Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's under transform. Okay, so <laughs> there we go. I just wanted to try to flip that thing. But you know what? No, I'm not taking any of that out. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, we're moving on. So in the reversed. Wow. That little nap was not enough. Um, in reversed, this really does speak to the delegation and delegating and being overburdened. However, it can also be that you're carrying a secret that you're really guarding close to you, to yourself. Um, I would imagine that this would definitely come up a lot more. And I got a little speck on my de desk. Don't worry about that anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, I, I suspect that this would come up a lot more for somebody in the LGBTQ community who is in the closet. So I, I point back there because it's actually a closet. But anyway, I would suspect that this one would come up more if you're doing a reading for somebody in the LGBTQ community. And if you, in fact, are a person that they can, you know, safely come to, which I think the majority of everyone that watches my, my channel would probably be that type of person where they're like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a safe, safe person to come to. Yeah. I would hope that it's everybody on my channel. If you're a bigot, please show yourself out. Um, but yeah, I, I think this would be a card that might come up in that situation where you are harboring a secret about yourself or about a situation. Um, again, this does have to do with people that are not delegating, that are a little overburdened, like way overburdened, um, and that they're really putting it on themselves. And a lot of cases in this, um, it, whenever you look at the Ten of Wands, you know, we, we have this situation where you bring this on yourself, um, and don't be afraid to like put some of that stuff down and take a little bit of a break take a breather it's okay you'll be fine uh, again it's better for it to be done than to be perfect so yeah which is one reason i'm not really going to edit anything out of this because it's done it's not perfect and that's okay and I'm just going to leave that just because I need to put that little fact in my head a little bit more. So I'm going to upload and consider this done, but not perfect. Okay, so I'm also going to try to do the Witchy Wednesday video um, and hopefully the Table Talk Thursday video. Actually, I'll probably do the Table Talk Thursday video real quick and, uh, you know, at least have that done. Maybe not perfect, but done. But, uh, yeah, we'll see if I can get to the Witchy Wednesday video. Otherwise, uh, I will have more filming to do tomorrow. But, anyway, until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.